Yesterday, Christian Wood finally looked a little bit like himself, right? First two preseason games of the season, he was a little rough, a little rocky, uh, just seemed out of sorts. You know, a lot of people pointed out that he looks a bit out of shape, that he doesn't look like how he has in previous years. And one of the things that I've talked about is that you got to keep in mind with Christian Wood, he hasn't had the whole offseason to work out in various gyms and work out with the Lakers and, and their training staff and, you know, in their facilities and their weight rooms and stuff. Everything that he's had to do is all independent in and of itself, right? Because he was a free agent, so he couldn't go to the Dallas Mavericks facility. He couldn't go to the Lakers facility, right? And he didn't sign a contract until oh, two weeks before training camp. So he's very likely trying to get back into the swing of things. And, you know, I've heard people mention, you know, hey, Christian Wood, it's his job to be in shape. It's his job to... But we don't know the circumstances. One, you know, it looks like he's got a little bit of a gut. But was that asked by the Lakers? Did the Lakers ask him? You know, hey, like we want you to, to you know, put on a little extra weight because we're going to have you play center more frequent. That could be a possibility. Maybe he took it upon himself to do that because he knew he was going to play the center spot a little more frequently. That could be a possibility as well. Or even the biggest thing is, look, he could run 10 miles a day, do, you know, 10,000 shots, like everything, work out in the gym, all that stuff. It's not the same thing as NBA reps and actual gameplay, right? Even scrimmaging at your local YMCA is not to compare, is not anywhere close to comparable to actual NBA games. So he is very likely having to work himself into shape, into rhythm, and we finally saw him kind of get back into that in the Sacramento game. So he played 20 minutes, had 13 points, four rebounds, was five of seven from the field. Uh, three of five from the free throw line. I'd like that to be a little better. Um, but he was just more aggressive, more physical. We've seen him now twice in two straight games basically not settle. And especially in that Sacramento game, he had several sequences where he was, you know, doing the power dribble, getting into the contact, and laying it in. Also, this guy cannot get a call to save his life, right? He finally got a couple towards the uh, towards the like middle half of the game. But, like, it was like two and a half straight games where this dude was getting clobbered and getting no respect, no love. Um, but one of the things that impresses me the most of Christian Wood is his defense, right? Like, he's actually getting after it defensively. He is rotating. You know, he is being sturdy, being strong, being a help, great help defender. Um, you know, he's filling things out and blocking shots and doing what you need. He's, he's closing out and making the extra effort. Right, we've seen on several occasions where a guy will, you know, somebody will miss the rotation, guys wide open, and Christian Wood could just stand there and box out and just let that guy shoot it. But instead, we'll actually try to close out, put a hand up. And a couple times we've seen him actually uh, just affect the shot. Uh, in the the Warriors game, he actually blocked one of Kaminga's shots. Right, and those are the those are the little things that go a long way. Those are the things that don't necessarily show up in the box score, right? That end up having a huge resounding impact over the course of a game, right? Like, yeah, he didn't block the shot, but the fact that that guy now second thought it and just jacked it up and ended up missing it, which led to us getting a rebound, which led to us getting a transition bucket, which now, you know, extended our lead to six or cut the lead into four or whatever it is. Like, those are the things that can be the difference maker as far as winning and losing goes. You know, I've defended Christian Wood so far throughout this postseason or this uh, preseason, right? And I will continue because, look, Jackson Hayes has looked great, right? Jackson Hayes is was up until yesterday's game. I haven't looked in the, where he is now. But up until yesterday's game, Jackson Hayes was a plus 19 for the Lakers. And even in yesterday's game, just yesterday's game, he was a plus 14. So, again, Jackson Hayes is really thriving. He's playing great basketball. But a lot of that is because his role is a lot simpler than Christian Woods, right? His job is just to be high energy, sacrifice his body, do the dirty work, make the plays, you know, be a, a rim, pressing, rim pressure threat, you know, defend the occasional player and play, you know, 15 minutes a game, right? Where Christian Wood, his role is... I need to defend, man the middle, man whatever position I'm playing, 
defend multiple positions, knock down the outside shot, knock down the three ball, knock down the mid range, be a three level score, go out and get 17 a game. You know, like be be uh, an Anthony Davis and LeBron James insurance, right? Like get back to being that guy that I've been micro. Like it's just different, right? The roles are different, the expectations are different, right? Christian Wood, he he needs the ball to be a little more effective than Jackson Hayes, right? Jackson Hayes doesn't need the ball; he's just running to the rim. You throw him a lob or you know dump it down, he gets the little like hook shot in the middle. Like he's not a guy that has to have the ball. To be effective. So, of course, it's going to be easier for him to just kind of do what he's done his whole career and play in. Where Christian Wood, he's trying to fit in, right? He's trying not to do too much. He's he's trying to stay aggressive, but he also doesn't want to, you know, step on toes and stuff, right? You've seen guys kind of look him off and stuff, and he's trying to just navigate this, this team, right? And I believe that it'll come with time. It may take a little while, which is fine. Right, it may take a little while for him to kind of get into the the swing of the game. Right, it might take a while for him to get into the swing of the team, and but that comes with just continuing to play games, continuing to grow, continuing to develop. Right, like Christian Wood has still shown, even in the bad games, even in the games where he hasn't looked great, still showed a lot of the promise and a lot of the stuff that we hope that he would provide this Lakers team. Right, and he's been surprising on defense, which to me it hasn't really been surprising. I did a whole video breaking down that he actually is a solid defensive player. You know, he's not elite, he's not, you know, Anthony Davis, he's not Jared Vanderbilt, but he's good enough for what you need. Right? Play within the team defense. You know, don't settle, close out, hit hard, you know, like be aggressive, be physical, active hands, like all of those things and he's doing it and he's making plays and you know he's he's trying to be an aggressive scorer right like Christian Wood had that stretch he's done it twice now where he had the stretch where he was just getting whatever he wanted getting absolute buckets did it to the Nets he did it to the 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 Kings he tried to do it to the Warriors but he just couldn't get a foul call to save his life and was a little rough but you know his ability to put the ball on the hoop right his ability to not settle like, I love that there was that one sequence where the ball ended up coming out to him at the three-point line, and he gave the little pump fake, the the defender close too hard, and he just walked to the rim and just slammed it home. Like, those are the things that I love to see. Those are the things that translate well into the season. Not settling, getting the high, you know, probable shot, putting the ball in the hoop. Like, I, no, I don't, and I said this when we got him, I don't think he's going to be a 17 to 20 point a game guy. Like, average. He's probably going to be around what he's, put up, which is 13 a game. Probably going to be around there because, again, you got D'Angelo Russell, Austin Reeves, LeBron James, Anthony Davis, but it's the his ability to, on any night, go and give you 20 to 30 points. That's what it is. That's what the difference is because that's what Christian Wood can do. On any given night, he could just catch fire and just light you up. But if we're looking for Christian Wood to be a 2010 guy, it's just not what the Lakers need from him. Right? On the occasional night, sure. But again, we have... I mean, you're talking six guys that could all go get you 20-plus on any given night. Right? Christian Wood is another one of those guys rather than the guy. And, you know, he's used to playing and being the second, third scoring option. Right? I mean, even even with um, Dallas last year, right? He was, for the season, was the second leading scorer behind Luka. Right? And so... You know, he's used to being that guy that gets to, you know, take his 15, 20 shots game and do X, Y, and Z. And now he's got to kind of adjust to, okay, I can't do that. I have to kind of take a step. I am now the fifth, sixth, seventh option, (laughs) right? It's just, it's a big difference. And I like what I've seen from Christian Wood. I'm going to continue to defend him. I think he's been fine. I think he'll continue to get better, continue to grow, and I'm looking forward to it. But anyway... As always, this is a discussion, so I pass a question on you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. What do you think? How do you feel about Christian Wood? You know, what do you make of his uh, first couple games? Uh, do you do you like what you've seen from him so far? Do you want to see more? Um, you know, has he been, like, what would you kind of grade him, right? Again, I don't think he's been an AA plus or anything like that, but I think he's been around like a B minus, right? He, he's shown the things that we wanted to see. And in a lot of ways, he just hasn't hit those shots, which you got to imagine will come around. But 
anyway, let me know down in the comments. How do you feel? What do you think of uh, Christian Wood? And uh, I, I just, I have faith. I really do believe that he's going he's gonna to make a real impact this year. But let me know.